and he has, I think, about eight lurkers out right now, and probably a control group or so of lings as well as all, all of his mutas. So if he pincers correctly, Light is going to have to be really, really careful with his army right now. He's kind of splitting it up, and it's all over the place right now. I really don't like that. Light really needs to keep it all together, and there are Scourge out as well. Uh, if Crazy Hydra can snipe a Vessel right now, or even two, then Light is going to completely lose his window to be able to push out. Uh, what Light really needs to do right now is try to get up to the top right, deny that base so that it stays two base versus two base, at which point his economy is in a decent shape. Uh, actually loading up for a drop right now, but there are Scourge in position, so I don't know if Light is going to be very successful with this drop. I think he has uh, probably about two medics. I, I know there's a fire bat in there as well, so he's going to be trying to go for a drop right in the main, but it's completely scattered right now. And a huge battle coming in here with Lurkers and Lings. Uh, there's an irradiate on the Mutas, but the Scourge did not kill the dropship, so the drop actually gets off. I think everything gets over there, but there's still a few Mutas and Lings in the main, so he might be able to clean this up. But no, there's actually four or five units that are left killing drones. Uh, only one or two drones are going to go down, though. Yeah, overall, I mean, that was a little less efficient cleaning up that, that drop than would have been ideal, but he didn't really take too much damage from it, losing a couple of drones, no big deal as well, but he did manage to, to clean it up and pick up the drop ship, so he's in still pretty good shape getting that third base up, and Light still just now finally getting his second base and his second gas, perhaps most importantly, is that second gas, so that 100 in the drop ship, you know, every little gas, if the Scourge hit a science vessel, that's a ton of mining time off of one gas that you lose if you just lose uh, one science vessel. So he needs to be really careful with that. And now we have Crazy Hydra moving out with a bunch of links towards the top left. And he's just going to be setting up for a nice flank here if he's able to pull it off as he's starting to engage right now. He needs to be careful. He just threw away a lot of those links. He was setting up for a flank and actually he got caught and loses all those links and didn't really do too much damage with them. So that's unfortunate for Crazy Hydra. Loses a lot of links and um, got a little more than just uh, some scouting information. It's barely all he got as he knows that Natural Command Center, he knows it's saturated, but nothing he didn't already know. And um, yeah, that was not a good use of his Zerglings, but he does still have a lot of those Lurkers out, does still have that um, high tech up and running, so he should be getting Defilers out pretty shortly with that with that third gas up, and, and still it's still going to be in decent shape, as he did actually pick up a Science Vessel there too, and there's the first swarm of the game. Yeah, there is one or two Defilers out right now, that, that huge Vessel snipes, if he can snipe one or two more Vessels, then really Light's going to be in trouble, but I think Light, the fact that Light is a overall the better player here is really starting to show. Uh, there were a couple opportunities where Light's army was not in position, but Crazy Hydra was not able to capitalize on that. But then as soon as Crazy Hydra was splitting his army, then Light started picking up those Zerglings pretty much for free. So I think the new maneuvering in the middle and the army positioning are obviously uh, going to be in Light's favor. So if he stays out in the middle of the map and continues to put even just a little bit of pressure on Crazy Hydra, then he should be gaining small advantages here and there, maybe chipping his way back into this uh, game. Another dropship is out right now. Might be going for a drop in the top right, but there's lurkers coming in here under a dark swarm. Tanks are going to unsiege and move back, so not a whole lot of damage going on right there, but um, he, uh, Crazy Hydra does need to keep uh, putting a bit of pressure on that army, make sure it doesn't get too big, and make sure that Light can't get very close to the top right position. You know, it's not often you see a, a, a player come back from going with a two-rack bunker rush attempt that does virtually no damage and still come out in, in an advantageous position. But I think you're right. This is just a, a better player in light overall that's just been able to do a lot of damage and, and work extremely efficiently. And look at these the Marines dropping at the top right, taking off a ton of drones. And it looks like Lings are going to come in here, but they're going to be too late. And more and more drones are going down. Looks like he might even pick up a Defiler. He's also dropped a Marine on that bridge just to be annoying. Picks up virtually every drone at the top right. And uh, that Marine picks off the Mutalist, so he's still going to sit up there and be a nuisance. And so that is going to be terrible for Crazy Hydra. This actually could be it for Crazy Hydra. He gets a good plague off on a lot of those Marines, which is very, very nice. But what army does he have left? He's got five Lurkers up here at the top right and one Defiler. And what else does he have left? He's got some Sunken Colonies there to defend. He's got a uh, very little, actually. He's got very, very little left right now, Crazy Hydra. With that top right base going down, the bases are actually even. And um, Light has the third command center floating. It should be completed. So he should be floating it probably to the top left or something. So Light actually working his way back in this game very, very nicely and also switching into Vultures and Mines, which I don't think Crazy Hydra is at all prepared for. So it looks like this game is tilting a little bit back into Light's favor as he's playing fantastically and uh, working from a poor position of starting out behind and has really um, come back in this game very, very effectively. Yeah, Light running a few vultures up to the top right there just to play some mines and deny any more mining there. Uh, army coming in actually now 
pretty much cleaning out most of Light's forces in the middle with a couple mind drags. Uh, the four lurkers here should be able to get that tank, at which point Light pretty much has no presence in the middle of the map right now. Um, the mines, obviously, are going to keep Crazy Hydra from countering it. Right? But um, Light is kind of making us and Crazy Hydra look a bit silly right now. That huge advantage that Crazy Hydra had in the beginning was completely squandered by the fact that Light was doing all these little bits of damage. And Crazy Hydra was just losing a few links here, a few links there. And oh, what a mind. time came for him to... Jeez, oh, huge mind drag there. When the time came for him to engage Light's army, he just didn't have enough left to be able to deal with it. Yeah, it's those, uh, those little victories. You know, we talk a lot about, on, on casting, we talk a lot about the little things, like the gas timing. You talk about losing a couple units here, being efficient with your units. And I think this was a game where you saw Crazy Hydra thought he was in such a dominating position, so he tries some uh, flanking maneuvers, loses some links here, loses some links there, slow to respond with a swarm, and loses a couple lurkers a little bit here, a little bit there. And then it finally just built up to when the main fight happened, he just lost so many units that he couldn't uh, couldn't actually win the fight. And, and that's exactly what we saw happen. And now we got more vultures going up here to the top right because he doesn't have the forces, he doesn't have the map presence that he needs. And now these vultures are going to pick off more drones and just absolutely destroy his mining. Look at this, this mining is just so poor right now as he's just lost drone after drone after drone here at this top right base. Yeah, Crazy Hydra is just completely lost control of this uh, and now he's running lurkers and links into mines ah the huge mine going off on the lurkers and the links um he needs uh, a lot of overlord on the map right now to be able to spuff the the um the mines and a few hydras to be able to pick them off because otherwise he's just going to be running all of his troops into mines if he tries to put on any pressure there are a few hydras out now hopefully he doesn't turn them all into lurkers so that he can be pick at the, picking at the mines um but really it's three base versus three base now and that is not very good for Crazy Hydra, based on the lead that he had. Uh, sniping a vessel there, so that's good. But really, he needs to be doing more than that. That's the kind of thing that he had to be doing at the beginning of the game, but now it's bigger things that he needs to be doing. Losing a fighter there to a mine just absolutely, completely going to cripple him if he continues to lose small amounts of units like this. Uh, yeah, I think this game is starting to come close to close. We have Light taking a fourth base at the 6 o'clock position, and the main for Crazy Hydra is just about mined out. And um, you see this mech push coming in. I mean, he's got some hydras and defilers, but it's not enough. I mean, finally, he's got to speed Ovi's around so he can start trying to mine clear. But with the tanks that are coming from from light, I really question how how hydra, crazy hydra can possibly defend against this. He's going to be in huge trouble fighting against this with siege tanks. Um, even if he brings in hydralis, it's just gonna, it's just going to be too much, too little, too late. And there's a play going off on some of those siege tanks as the hydra's trying to pick them off, unable to do so. He's forced to retreat, but he does at least manage to keep the defiler alive. So that is at least something. He needs to keep his defilers alive as much as he can to try and. Um, keep up his defenses as he is trying to set up for his own fourth base here at the three o'clock position it is known i believe he's either scanned it out or just suspects it light so i think he has a pretty good idea that there's a base going up there so he's going to um try and divert forces there later on probably when there's any sort of engagement he'll probably try and divert some forces over there so um yeah crazy hydra's got to be really careful as to how he takes that base try and get some uh get some lurkers on the on the ramp something like that in order to try and defend that because that is a pretty vulnerable spot for him it's not a quick reinforcement spot at all without a nidus canal I actually don't understand right now why Crazy Hydra is making pretty much purely lurkers with his gas right now. I mean, he can't be aggressive with them because he's going to run into mines. He can't be that defensive against tanks with lurkers because the tanks will arrange the lurkers and the lurkers can't really run up. A couple vultures now running again up into the top right, picking off some more drones, keeping Crazy Hydra well below light in economy right now. And there are several vessels out, so really the, the time for sniping uh, vessels is... Well, get, just as I say that, he gets another one pretty much for free. But uh, that's still not going to be that helpful because Light has enough of them that he's not going to be missing the detection. At the same time, he's making a lot of turrets. And with a tank line, a mine line, and turrets at the same time, Crazy Hydra can't attack. So he won't be able to do any damage to get himself back in this game. He's going for a few uh, lurkers and a swarm for a flank here. He's going to be able to pick at one tank, but really, he's not going to be able to push very far with that. He's not going to be able to kill a base with that. He's not going to be able to harass with that. And those are the sorts of things that he needs to do to get himself back in this game. 
This tank line is starting to get pretty scary. It's not just because there's a bunch of tanks in a group. It's because they're spread out. They're in a long line. There's nowhere where he can just throw down uh, crazy hydrogen and just throw down one or two swarms and a plague and suddenly, you know, take out a lot of the tanks. He just can't do it. They're just in a long line. There's multiple groups of them reinforcing each other. And it's just, uh, it, it's just, it's just looking bad, bad, bad for Crazy Hydra. He's trying to pull this off. You know, he does have that fourth base going up at the three o'clock position. That is finally got a nice canal as well. But um, Light, you know, he's got his fourth base up as well. He's working on his fifth, so he's still um, got some work to do. The more Scourge coming, you're going to try and pick off some time stuff. So do manage to pick off one, but the Hydras that were coming and chasing, a lot of them do go down. So that's unfortunate. And a tank being dropped at the three o'clock position, as well as Zerglings being dropped at the six o'clock position. So we got harassment going off at both bases. Uh, a swarm going off there at the six o'clock position. Going to stop mining there for a while. I think there might be a lurker underneath that swarm. And it looks like a tank and two Goliaths there at the three o'clock position are going to be able to stop mining there for a while. A couple Scourge are going to come in there, but they're not going to help with that Goliath there. And as long as that tank remains alive he'll be able to stop any sort of a base from going down there so that is going to be a, a, a big nuisance to crazy hydras that base is going to take a long time before he can clear that out and try and get a fifth base up yeah light may have actually thought there was a base here uh, maybe he doesn't realize how far ahead he is um putting a drop there normally that's just a mining canceled. there but there's, there's huge, okay there's a huge drop uh loading up for a huge drop going on right now just i think it's mostly just lings uh, I would imagine the plan for that is just to drop it directly on the tanks, uh, hope for a couple of mine drags maybe, and just, you know, power down the tanks with the Zerglings. But there actually aren't that many Goliaths or Vultures around to defend against the Lings right now, so Light needs to be a bit careful with that. Uh, that drop gets cleaned up pretty easily, but uh, i kind of worried about that. It's mostly tanks right now, and if there are a lot of Lings that get dropped on the tanks while they're sieged, then that could be a huge loss for Light if he loses all of his tanks. Uh, at the same time, he's still up in bases, uh, not mining from the 6 o'clock, even though he probably should be right now. Uh, I think all the lings are dead from there, but uh, just busy moving out in the map, I guess. <laughs> plague on a few mines, weirdly enough, and I don't think he got anything else with that plague, so kind of weird there. Uh, just not a huge army from Crazy Hydra. He really needs a huge army. And actually, he's dropping lings on the tanks right now, and the mines, like I said, the mines dragging into the tanks, killing like five or six tanks there, so... Nice damage there for Crazy Hydra. You know, I was watching that, the Lings dropping on top of mines. I was just thinking, wow, that's like, uh, you know, Light's pretty bad at TVP. He gets mine dropped a lot, or he gets Zealot bombed a lot. And now these Zerglings are coming in. Those were some pretty effective Zergling bombs there. And I guess it's kind of his, uh, his TVP struggles catching him off guard here in his TVZ. Not uh, often you see that. You don't see that position um, very often, but... Uh, did see it right there and did see a, a little bit of a problem there for, for Light as he lost about five or six tanks. There's just a, just a few links, a handful of links. So um, a nice little uh, attack there by Crazy Hydra. But unfortunately for Crazy Hydra, the entire bottom left, like half of the map, those six bases are all in Light's control right now. There's an Overlord going down there, but it's not really going to be able to do much of anything, even if it... Uh, even if it drops, I think there are a decent number of forces. And some Ling's are going to go clear out some mines. They're going to die doing it, but they do clear out some of these mines. And the Overlords are scouting out the number of bases. And that one does actually have some units in it. It's three Zerglings and a Defiler. Anything else in there, um, he will at least be able to stop mining at this one base. A little damage here and there by Crazy Hydra, and that's going to help him out a lot. If he can do any damage, any harassment, just keep the eco down as much as he can. Every little bit will help him try and stay in this game as he tries to get his uh, high tech more operable. Tries to get enough gas to try and get Ultras or switch into um, maybe a bigger drop, something like that. He needs to do as much as he possibly can and just trying to win all these little battles. Just as Light did to him, Crazy Hydra needs to do it back to Light and try and win a lot of these little battles. Yeah, Light is running into a bit of issue here. I think he may have overextended a little bit with the number of bases he has. He's up to six now, and defending all of those against little lane drops are kind of difficult. Actually, Light's going for an eraser trick here at the two o'clock. There is Burrow, so that's not going to be very effective at all. Um... He needs to make sure he doesn't lose all of his vessels at the same time, because Scourge could really ruin his day right now. What Light needs to do, I think, at this point is uh, defend all of his bases, make sure that he doesn't lose any SCVs or mining from these small little drops, and at the same time build up a big army. He doesn't really need to take any more um, positions. He, he, his position is fine. If he builds up a big army and then is able to push towards one or two of the bases of Crazy Hydra, I don't think Crazy Hydra will be able to defend that. He needs to stop engaging in these little tiny fights, try to uh, avoid those as much as possible, and go for one big killing blow so that he can make sure the Crazy Hydra can't get back in this game. 
going for a drop right now inside the main. I would imagine he's just going to try to snipe some tech buildings. Actually, it's a tank and two vultures. I really don't understand the point of that drop right now. Obviously, there's no mining there. Um, I guess he's going to try to snipe the spawning pool, but he's not. Really, he's actually not paying attention to that at all. Yeah, I don't think it was. Uh, I think he thought there was 